Football fans, this is Kev Nix presenting to you Fantix. This is our two-year journey covering tailgate and local experiences for all 32 NFL football teams. From my home in the ATL to Seattle, Oakland to New York, I got all the NFL fans covered. We are exploring the local fans, football, food, and culture of the cities in a way only Kev Nix can do. Let's all go on this special journey together. Hashtag 32 and 2. Hashtag Nick Sports. Hashtag Fantix. All right, y'all. We did Oakland, San Francisco, man. Touchdown in the ATL for a minute. Now we on the East Coast in the NYC. What's up, y'all? Kev Nix, Fantix, um, season one. Um, episode probably about seven to eight. I don't know. We've been a few places now, but now we're in the um, Big Apple MetLife Stadium. Um, you see the green colors tonight because we're here for the Jets game first, then the Giants on Sunday. So what we go see is how these fans act in this um, parking lot. It's a Thursday night game, a lot of excitement already. We go see how everything goes and we go check this thing out. Let's go. The New York Jets, originally the New York Titans, also known as Gang Green, most famously won Super Bowl three behind the guarantee of Broadway Joe Namath. Walking through the parking lot, we saw the bus, so it caught my attention. So can you give me a little history behind the bus and kind of how long y'all been tailgating? So it's uh, there's four owners of the bus. We got a great deal, twelve hundred dollars. It costs us three hundred dollars each. Nice. Um, all, all the owners are here. We've been tailgating for four or five years now with the bus. And we come to every game and just enjoy ourselves. After we left Dodd, man, we had to go around MetLife Stadium to check out some of the other lots, but we had to save the best for last. Lot J, as you may or may not know, is the crunkest and best tailgating experience here. Got my man Max with me right here. Say light. Hey, what up, man? So tell me this. You know it drew me to this tailgate right here, man. So how long you been tailgating out here? Um, last seven years. What you think y'all gonna do tonight, though, against the Bills? Yeah, we hopefully get this W, you know what I'm saying? That's what we need. We need this W. And and and, and run the ball, like my man E said, run the ball. Run the, run the ball, 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 brethren. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this. They said the Jets was supposed to have a bad tailgate experience, but I saw exactly the opposite. Dancing, music, food everywhere, aromas. That's what I'm talking about, Jet. Show them how it's really supposed to be done. I see a wonderful brew going on in there. So what's in that pie and what's gonna go in that pie? We got, we got water, we got beer, we got garlic, onions, potatoes, and know. At the end, once all that stuff boils up, Old Bay seasoning is already in there also. And then we'll throw cl clams and um, shrimp in there. All right, and then, Tell me this, how long you think it's gonna last? Not long. Not long. All right, so I'm gonna have to sneak in my bike first. Y'all don't tell nobody, though. No. I got a little bit. Y'all have seen, I've been doing a little bit of everything. So we got the shrimp, clams and potatoes, strong with potato, healthy vegetables. Man, Nick threw down, man. Everything in that pot was off the chain. Spectacular, marvelous, tasty, scrumptious, everywhere you want to use to describe some food. But we had to check out some more Lot J. Y'all see my folks dancing. Y'all see my folks drinking, eating, living it up, man. But now let's go on into this game and check out this stadium experience. The Jets experience was even more fun than I could have even expected from everything that I was being told, y'all. But now we got to check out New York City. The five boroughs, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and Staten Island, man. Penn Station, Central Park, so many things to do. Man, let's just go ahead and get into it and show it to y'all. When the Jolie stop, the, the vegan vegetarian stuff, um, by Chloe, that's her food and that's her eating. Spicy, what was it, quinoa spicy? I don't know. Taco salad. Quinoa taco salad, basically, bro. It's scrumptious. You gotta ride the subway while you in NYC. And we going from Manhattan to Harlem, man. We gotta check out my peoples. I'm coming to y'all from Harlem. Just got off the train right here, the Whole Foods right here, Red Rooster right here. Um, Manhattan's cool and everything, you know, but this time we focus on Harlem. So. Technically, uh, Harlem is a part of Manhattan. We all know it really, really ain't. 
Basketball from the Apollo. Uh, ain't no show going on tonight. If it was Wednesday, I'd go do amateur night, but you know, it ain't Wednesday, so they don't get to be graced by my presence on the stage. But uh, more about Harlem, you know, Bridge, Story, all kind of coaches from the squares, um, the people that's been here, and uh, we'll check some more things out. But I got to touch the Apollo, so I'm happy. What's up, y'all? All right, we got four people here from random places. I don't know this person right here, um, but um, I know y'all enjoying Harlem. Y'all from out of town. What's y'all favorite thing about Harlem? Sylvia's diversity. Just walking the streets and seeing everything. Like culture and stuff. Yeah, like our culture, black culture. Yep. She loves all the black-owned stuff. Yeah, we did everything we did basically was from those black-owned. Yep. Who you telling? That's my thing. All right, appreciate you. She said first. No, where are you going to say who she is? I mean, who am I? Even though she's from Orlando. I'm not from Orlando. I just came from the bottom of Florida, and I'm here from Georgia. My niece randomly saw her in the streets. That's love. Everybody who goes to Harlem knows about Sylvia's and Red Rooster, so we're going to try an under-the-radar spot called Jacob. We are Jacob, so most of the time people talk about Sylvia, Red Rooster. I've been here about this spot right here. Um, just down the block, but we got to start. My veggies first, I was gonna cheat. Greens. He good mine. They pretty good. They season them with turkey. Man, we got food, we got culture in Harlem, man. We had so much fun here. But you know what? Central Park is well known in New York City. Sex in the city, all kind of shows been shot there. Let's kick it there for a little bit. But then we gotta head on down to Times Square. You gotta do the touristy thing. It's required, so I'ma show it to y'all. What's up, y'all? Kev Nix out here. So, a tourist area. Y'all see all the damn lights everywhere, all these folks everywhere. Folks taking selfies all over the place. Might buy me some cheap little gear, some little stuff, give me some little street meat out here. Before we go back to the hotel and get ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Man, they're gonna fool the Times Square, but you know what? It was funny than I thought it was gonna be. But man, we in NYC. Y'all know we got to get some pizza, man. I'm looking forward to this. So many options. We got a little burn at the bottom. Just went on cold, right? New York style. I just got done eating. Long day in New York, but um, city never sleeps. But um, we got to, because what we got to do is we got to cover that, that, that Giants game tomorrow. We had a wonderful time. About to hit um, Penn Station, head back to Jersey, hit the hotel, and go get with y'all tomorrow. Yeah. I know we in the city that never sleep, but man, your boy Kev got to get some sleep because the Giants fans are supposed to be crazy, and I'm looking forward to this tailgate experience. What's up, y'all? Kev Nix, Fantix, coming to y'all from MetLife again, Sunday. This time we're here for the Giants game and not the Jets. Two teams in one city. What I want to see playing at the same stadium is what they think about each other in terms of fans, in terms of tailgate and everything. And of course, we got to give the Giants they due respect in terms of what they go do today. So, all right, we go roll around, check out these um, lots, and see what's going on. The New York Giants, G-Men, Big Blue, man, they're one of the five original NFL teams from way back in 1925. And y'all know some of the studs that's been involved with them. Bill Parcells, Lawrence Taylor, Phil Sims. Y'all, we got to check out this tailgate experience. All right, who we got with us right now? Cleveland Bob. All right, Cleveland, you heard him say it kind of smooth, right, with the beer in his hand. We came to the Jets game on Thursday, and now we're here at the Giants game. What's the difference between the Giants fan and the Jets fan? It's in New York. It's a giant nation, you know? That's what it is. So you saying y'all the first and they just the last? Yeah, yeah they're babies. We, we, you know, we, we the team right here, you know? <laughs> That's what it is, you know? What makes it so exciting for you to come tailgate where a lot of people watch it at home now? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just a better experience out here. I play with my, see my team play, you know? That's what it is. Giants fans not representing their team? Forget about it. That's what they told me. Rain, snow, sleet, hell, regardless of who they playing, they down with the G-Man for show. Sure. Stadium here with the Giants fans. Woo! Woo! All right. Juju, baby. They call me the Bayou G-Man for life, you heard? Uh-oh. Yeah. We went to the Jets game on Thursday. Now we're here. What's the difference between the Jets and the Giants fan? Um, Giants, Giants are winners. So the fans are, we're louder, we represent better, we're more loyal, we have better colors, we have more rings, 
Everything is better. We fall deep. We fall deep. They won. One. One. Our team. Now what about this though? What what y'all got going on with y'all tailgate over here though? Look like y'all throwing down a little bit. And these guys are from the DMV area too, so they drive up here. But we all get together because we family. So from all over, we family. What you doing? <laughs> Yo, <me. laughs> all right, well, I'm here. <laughs> Teriyaki chicken mixed up with a couple other secret things. Oh, teriyaki chicken. So who we got on the grill? Though? Hey, my cousin. <laughs> so we got the teriyaki chicken on the grill. Some beef. They ran through the burgers and hot dogs already. Yeah. I told her I ain't moving. They on standby. We had some food at the other tailgates, but it wasn't nothing like this. The tailgate energy was good, but once we got inside the stadium, the energy was low, and you could tell by the performance of the team. This time we saw how the Giants tailgate. We saw everything that happened in the lot. The bus right here. We know about the history of the Giants, the championships they won. We heard their fans talk about what they think of the Jets. And then we just saw some of the good food and hanging out with the folks, man. It's been tailgating here for years. So, um, Newt, NYC, thank you for the love. Enjoyed it. And um, next you go see us in Chicago. To my NYC folks, I just want to say thank you and appreciate your hospitality as always. And trust and believe we will be back. But in terms of this Jets versus Giants debate, from what we saw and what we felt from our tailgating experience, man, you got to give it up to the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets.